Hi. My name is Dr. Sharjila Bid, Assistant Professor at National Textile University, Pakistan. Today, I am going to talk about biotechnological solutions for making textiles sustainable. Let's suppose a life without textiles. What to wear? Where to sleep? Where to sit? We all are surrounded by textiles. And we cannot imagine a life without textiles. Textiles. They are everywhere. In offices. In homes. In hospitals. They make us comfortable and look great. But nothing is for free. Textiles are associated with a huge cost. For examples, it takes about 27,00 liters of water to produce one cotton t-shirt. That amount of water is enough for one person to drink for two and a half years. So, this is a huge waste of natural resources, especially in countries like Pakistan which are significantly affected by climate change. Another favorite and classic outfit, denim is also a source of large consumption of natural resources. For making one pair of our beloved jeans, the quantity of water used is equal to sustaining one person for five years. Thus, we need to switch the ways we produce or treat textiles. In the whole supply chain, textile processing is responsible for a major source of environmental pollution. So, things have now become complex in your mind. How to save the environment as we cannot substitute our need for textiles. The only possible way for this is to go for the sustainable textile manufacturing practices by switching back to the mother nature. Enzymes are present in the environment and earth from their birth. Being the part of the surroundings, these enzymes are safe, cost-effective, selective in their actions, and sustainable. These enzymes are playing a big role in saving nature by making the textiles sustainable. Let us talk about an example. A textile performed using conventional or enzyme way can cause a huge difference. As the table suggests, the enzyme process causes less acidification potential, energy utilization, and global warming. Keeping the quality of the produced fabric the same, the enzymes outperform the conventional chemical treatment and yet win the battle for the environment. In a scouring process, the fabric becomes hydrophilic, which means water absorbent. The image shows how an enzyme treated fabric absorbs water. The same process, when analyzed for its environmental potential against conventional one, shows that it reduces the chemical oxygen demands of the wastewater by 39% and biological oxygen demand by 74%. The significant reduction of wastewater's poor health indicates the potential of biotechnology for the textile sector and nature. As a country, why Pakistan needs to go green? It's evident from this fact that in 2020, Pakistan's air was very unhealthy and reached an average of 153 as reported by air quality index measurements. The 2.5 micrometer particulate was 11.8 times higher than the recommended concentration of WHO. If we will not act now, we will see diseases spreading across the nation. This is a list of enzymes being used in the textile sector at various stages. However, due to their slow action, the industry switched back to the Conventional Chemical Processes Another reason to switch to the chemical method was that the enzymes were not that much effective. However, with the advancement of technology, the third-generation enzymes are now available which have better thermal stability, better shelf life, ability to work on a wide range of pH, ability to work at lower temperatures and lower concentrations and consumption of a very less amount of heat and steam than conventional treatments. Hence, with increased awareness and sharing ideas, we can increase the textile production of our country which is the backbone of Pakistan's GDP. At the same time, we can save natural resources by switching to nature. Long live Pakistan! With a sustainable future! Thanks for listening! For any questions and collaborations,
please drop an email at the given email address.